Teaching Jet Program was established by the Japanese government in 1987 to promote internationalisation at the local level. New Zealand was one of the four original countries invited to participate. My teacher at school, my Japanese teacher, was one of the early jets when the program first started in New Zealand. Most participants are selected as assistant language teachers, mainly in public schools. I'm going to be assisting a Japanese teacher teaching a language. Others join the JET program as coordinators for international relations or sports exchange advisors. I've been here, this is my second year now, uh, really enjoying it. Since 1987, over 2,000 New Zealanders have participated in the JET program. I went on the JET program. I had always wanted to go on the JET program there since I was in high school. They have had a huge impact on New Zealand bringing fresh understanding of Japan and the Japanese to our people. I want to study karate in Okinawa. I want to, I want to study traditional language in Okinawa. And I want to study the Japanese. Oh, you can stay in Japan for two years and study how do Japanese behave, how they spend every day, weekly life, yearly life, and compare with their life in New Zealand also been ambassadors for New Zealand in many communities in Japan. So you are New Zealand ambassador in your local community in Japan. So you can teach those people how New Zealanders think about this issue or that issue and you, you can exchange views with Japanese people over there and you can compare the views and come to close to mutually understanding points. That's a very crucial point. The experiences may have helped JETS and people they meet adapt to difference. Observe how everybody else behaves and then you follow that example. And see some differences and similarities and study each other. In my experience, I found quite a few uh, New Zealanders living in the Kansai area. It is not just the Kiwis who have gone to Japan as jets who are keen on the program. Why did you want to be a jet? Um, I just wanted to go to Japan and experience the different culture and and be able to learn something as well as teach something. Future generations of graduate Kiwis who would like to be assistant English teachers in secondary schools or coordinators of international relations for local government in a big or small Japanese community can look forward to a well-organised, well-paid one, two or three years learning Japanese culture and language amongst the people. The language is a great tool for learning a culture. We need to know their culture and culture and language are inseparable. So to learn Japanese is another huge drive. The JET program helps the rest of us by building bridges of understanding. In 2005, the program was expanded to include over 5,800 participants from over 40 countries, including 320 from New Zealand in locations throughout Japan. I've always had, since I was a teenager, an inkling and a, and a desire to go to Japan. I'm just really happy to be have been selected and to be going to Japan. Peter Cowell, now a diplomat with a Japanese wife, has studied and worked in Japan. I've, I've not had the, uh, the uh, pleasure or the, uh, the, the privilege of being um, on the jet in Japan, but I've got many friends who have been on it and uh, I, I understand they have a thoroughly good time. Here we are interested in nurture the young younger uh, leaders. I finished school, I did a Bachelor of Arts and then I did a TESOL program and I worked for a few years as a teacher of English as a Second Language in Wellington and Napier. Through the combination of the skill of language and the understanding of the foreign language, they are able to communicate, to, to make their, themselves understood. In other words, it is extremely important at this time of, of the 21st century for Japan to make Japan not misunderstood. Japanese realize that their English is inadequate, basically, and they are taking steps to try and improve the situation, which is why the JET program came about. We are keen, we are keen on producing a very active uh, younger, younger uh, leaders who are enthusiastic to present themselves as a, a, as a decent a member of the international community. Assistant language teachers help the Japanese foreign language teachers in class and assist in preparing teaching materials and class activities. I was an ALT, assistant language teacher, 
in uh, junior high school, two junior high schools, and seven elementary schools. And I'm teaching in junior high schools. I've got 14 junior high schools to teach. Knowledge of Japanese language is not required to be an assistant language teacher. Some Jets have no Japanese. I went to Japan unable to speak Japanese um, and was expected to teach English in a very small town. I have a decent amount of Japanese. A functional knowledge of Japanese is, however, needed to be a coordinator of international relations. Um, I'm in my sixth year uh, currently in, in Japan. For three years I spent uh, time in Sakai City, mm -hmm. south of uh, Osaka, on the JET program. These JETs work in local government offices. I will be assisting international events. I will be writing newsletters for the local newspapers and um, probably doing a little bit of translations and interpretations and probably some school visiting. Every week I went to one school for two days, the other school for two days, and then on Thursdays I visited my elementary schools. So I went to each elementary school every seven weeks. A lot of teachers don't quite realise or don't quite know how to implement um, English activities in the classroom in a useful way. From what I could see, it was quite different to New Zealand, from what I can remember. The uh, junior high school especially was very regimented. Often the younger teachers who have spent time in foreign countries have a more broad knowledge of um, or more, more contact with um, native English, have more of an awareness of what's, what's useful, what's not, how to teach English in, a, in an interesting way. They couldn't really speak, they couldn't have a conversation. Their idea of, of having speaking practice was reading the textbook aloud, so that it was just going through them. They weren't actually creating the ideas in their head, they weren't thinking. At the same time, they also have the pressure from the Board of Education, or the Ministry of Education, um, because they have a certain syllabus they have to teach. So it's like two conflicting um, situations. They know that Japanese English speaking is inadequate, but they also have to teach the syllabus. I also get the impression you are dissatisfied with your performance in building English capacity here. Is my impression correct? Well, uh, uh, good is not enough. The, we have to aim at the being better, all right? It, it, good is never sufficient. We, we are uh, ambitious enough to, uh, to do better things. Well, uh, in that sense, uh, we encourage to uh, create the situation where uh, uh, students and, uh, and uh, Japanese teachers are forced to, to, to present themselves, to exert themselves in a foreign language. You know, practice makes perfect, that's my motto.